Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian back here again. We're working on our four foot in diameter Wimshurst electrostatic generator right now. Uh, before I glue this all together, I kind of wanted to show you what one of these look like, uh, rough set and kind of dry. What we have here in the center is a brass bushing. Uh, that brass bushing goes all the way through the three quarter inch piece of plywood there, and that's going to ride on our half inch shaft. Uh, let me go ahead and just pull that piece of half inch plywood off of there carefully. All right, so what you see here is our large Wimshurst four foot in diameter disc. You can see I've glued all our induction panels on there. We've got 32 induction plates. Uh, they're nine inches long, and at the top width up there, they're four and a half inches wide, and at the bottom, they're three inches wide. Uh, so we've got a pretty good LDW uh, uh, striker distance on all of this. So what we're gonna do now is I'm gonna go ahead and take some sandpaper, and I'm gonna rough up the entire center surface of that plexiglass with a piece of sandpaper. Uh, that way when I put the wooden disc on there, the support disc, the reason I've got the support disc on this wheel and these two that I'm building right now is actually because this is eighth inch plexiglass and at this diameter doesn't have enough strength to be used by itself. So I'm gonna reinforce these two discs. I've got two others that are being made right now at a quarter inch and they won't need the same reinforcement. So on the other two that we're gonna build, they're actually gonna be uh, quarter inch, which is actually going to give us more dielectric material, which will actually reduce the voltage slightly. The reason I did this out of eighth inch was the voltage will be higher with the thinner dielectric that I have between these, obviously. Uh, so we're going to do two different setups. So in the end, we'll actually have four, uh, four foot in diameter discs rotating. Uh, one, like I said, will be quarter inch material. One will be eighth inch with the supports. So let me go ahead and rough that all up. I'm going to glue that on and I'll show you what it looks like from there. All right, folks, so here's what I want to show you now is so we've attached our pulley to our wooden uh, strengthening circle here that we've put on our plexiglass uh, four foot in diameter disc. And I just want to show you here, I've got four nuts on the outside of these four bolts that are sticking through. I'm going to go ahead and lift this up and show you what it's got going on on the other side. Uh, just to make this so it's nice and stable, I'm going to put some glue in here, but these are uh, recessed holes for the heads of those bolts, so they're not sticking out anywhere close, and in fact they've got enough of a recession in there uh, that I can fill that with a uh, insulated material. That way there's no metal here right there sticking through, the only metal will actually be the bushing here. And you can see the bushing's now sandwiched, sticking out, if I get the camera angle right, you'll notice that's sticking out exactly an eighth of an inch, uh, which is the thickness in, of our uh, plexiglass disc here. So the plexiglass disc will actually sit right there on top of this also. So in the end, everything will be riding right here on the bushing. Uh, that'll be on our half inch drive rod and I'll show you that when we're done with it. So uh, I'm gonna go ahead now, like I told you in the last film, and I'm gonna go ahead and prep the surface. Get that nice and sanded up, uh, ready to apply glue to that so we can actually glue the wooden disc. I was thinking about how to bolt through this and all that, and if I use plastic bolts, it would work. Uh, it might just expand the diameter between the two discs too far. Uh, if I can find some good ones, I might end up putting those through on the next one. But we're going to go ahead and glue this one on as a test and to see how well it works. So let me get that done. All right, folks. So what we're doing now is actually gluing the wooden disc onto the plexiglass disc. You can see I've got... Uh, cinder blocks basically packed all the way around it. I'm using those as the weight to help hold the wooden disc on while the glue dries. What we have is an actual uh, clear epoxy that is designed to bond wood to hard plastic and you want to make sure that it says it's uh, designed for hard plastics. Uh, another thing you see is the outer ring here is making sure that the uh, outer, outer ring of the disc itself isn't going to fold up here. I noticed the heat from the sun was kind of warping it slightly so we might have to do something about that. Hopefully it'll turn out all right. All right, now that we've got this gluing, once it's dry, I'll actually go ahead and take this half inch rod that you see here. Uh, we'll mount that back onto our towers, our drive tower. We're gonna set the first disc on there and see how it turns out. Uh, then we'll go ahead and uh, in this same area here, we'll start building the second one, getting it glued. Now, each one of these are gonna take 24 hours to glue so because of the epoxy. So it's gonna be uh, two days before I'm actually ready to start mounting all this. And then from here, we'll start building our combs and our brushes and our large capacitor bank that we're gonna use for this project. So let me go ahead and let that dry and I'll show you the next one as it completes. Hi folks, Mr. Tesalonian here. I'm going to take you through the large Wimhurst electrostatic generator project. Uh, we're just about done with this project. All I've got left, which I'll tell you later in the video, is just a few parts. Uh, I just want to kind of give you a shot here with me standing next to it to give you a height comparison. I'm six foot tall, so as you can tell, this is probably six foot something, six foot two or three. Uh, so it's a pretty large unit. That's including the pallet height here. It dropped down a little bit, but that pallet's the actual base you'll stand on, so you're actually insulated 
Uh, that way you're not going to get nailed by anything from this machine because this machine's going to produce very, very high voltage. So I'm going to take a moment here, set up the shot, and I'm going to spin this for you for a moment then go through and explain it to you a little more in detail. All right, folks, so here we are. We're going to go ahead and give this thing a spin and show you how it works. I'm going to need a longer handle on this. So there you go. There's our large four foot in diameter Wimshurst generator. The discs are now rotating in opposite directions and we're ready to go to start building our combs and our brushes, which are the next part of this project. Seems to flow pretty well. I don't hear any grinding sounds. And you notice I'm not having to turn this very fast. All right, so there you go, folks. Let me go ahead and walk you up to the thing and show you just what it looks like completed now. All right, folks, so here's a forward look at the large Wimhurst electrostatic generator. I just showed you a view of it in motion, so I'm going to walk you up to it now and kind of give you an overview of how I built it and what's going on here. You notice we've got a gap between the two dielectric discs. Uh, that's separated by another brass bushing in there, which I'm actually going to replace with these two nylon bushings, which will help uh, dielectrically insulate the two plates from each other a little better. Uh, you can tell here we've got our 5-inch pulleys on either side, and on this belt we have the crossover. Uh, this will make sure that this one disc is rotating in the opposite direction than this disc over here. Uh, that's going down to our 10 inch pulley. Off of the other 10 inch pulley, what we have here is another belt. Now both of these belts are the same size. When you loop one of them over itself, it makes it obviously a lot shorter than the other one. So what I've done is incorporated here a little tensioning pulley. Try to keep the, the other belt the same length here. Uh, so that's just your straight belt. That one doesn't loop around itself at all. This is uh, the, the center drive system. You can tell it's just a half inch shaft going across. I don't even have the bracing on it. It actually holds itself there because the belt's pulling it down. I just have some notches here in the 2x4 that actually keep it kind of into place. It has some strapping that holds down on both sides here and keeps that from uh, walking its way out of there at all. You notice the rod comes all the way to either side. Uh, this will also be another area to do other experiments. We'll actually have a pulley coming off the drive rod here going up onto the shaft here and this will actually turn a device inside of this area also when we're done. Uh, so we've got massive now Wimhurst discs ready to go. And so what we also have here, what I've showed you in another video, is our high voltage AC or DC generator. And that's also wired up right now or hooked up belt wise. So we've actually got three 10 inch pulleys down here at the bottom. Uh, these two 10 inch pulleys going up to the Wimhurst are going into a five inch disc, which all together from hand crank uh, to the disc is about 14 to 1, 14.3 to 1 uh, ratio here, whereas this is 45 to 1 ratio uh, from the 10 inch here up to the 1 and 5 eighths or 1 and a half inch pulley that we have right here. And that's already generated quite a bit of electricity. I think we hit 117.9 volts uh, last time I checked that. So we're ready now to start building our brushes. Uh, the brushes will actually be mounted here off the center rod in a chunk of uh, hard plastic or a dielectric material which will actually uh, make sure there's a dielectric insulator between the drive rod and the brush and the brush will actually stick all the way out uh, going across here and it's going to cover a good portion of these discs so these can be very wide brushes as well as with our combs that we're going to produce that'll be sitting out about here they'll be mounted off this rim coming across uh, those combs will sit quite a ways into these uh, induction plates. We're probably going about this far in. So a very long, uh, probably an 8-inch uh, rod on either side for your combs. Alright, so now that I've showed you all that, what we're going to do now is go ahead and start completing this project. Uh, once I get this done, we're going to set up a monster capacitor bank for this. Uh, more wired together like a Marx generator than a standard capacitor bank, which allows you to put capacitor in series, in which I'll show you a film on how to build your own Marx generator uh, as a part of this project. Until next time, I hope you enjoyed. This is Mr. Teslonian in the Teslonian Man Show.